welcome to a bonus edition of Cracking the Cryptic, where I'm going to be attempting to do just that and crack today's Times Cryptic crossword. I haven't done a crossword on the channel for a couple of weeks at least, um, and I feel like I've been missing them. And I said to Mark yesterday, it'd be nice to do a crossword soon. Um, and I've been on the lookout. I thought someone might recommend something to me over Christmas, but we didn't get a recommendation. So I've been keeping an eye on something called the Times Snitch Rating which is basically um, a, a rating of how difficult that day's Times crossword is compared to all the others. Uh, and it's, it's done very sort of carefully and statistically. So the, the people who organise the snitch rating uh, have weeded out all of the people who solve on paper and then type the answers in as fast as they can. So they're called neutrinos on this Times snitch rating site. Um, and if we look at today, this is today's uh, well, this is today's real times cryptic leaderboard. Uh, the first three there are neutrinos. So they're people who've just typed in the answer, having solved it on paper. Andy Fisher is real with eight minutes, 37. Then Jason James, nine minutes, 34. That's also real. I guess the, the, num the names after that are real because this would be indicate very slow typists. But you can see we're immediately up to 14 minutes as the third best real time. And that is a long, long time for times crossword. If we look at the time, uh, the top th uh, 100 here, and as I scan down, many of the names that I normally see are just not here at all, which I think must indicate that this puzzle is, it's either going to have very difficult clues that have not been able to be solved, or it's going to have clues in it which are misleading and therefore people have entered in, well, more than four wrong answers because if you've entered in more than four wrong answers, that would explain why your name is now not on the, on the top 100 of the list. So I, I know this is going to be a hard puzzle. I'm not going to be racing, obviously, today. I'm going to do this and talk through my thought processes. I hope that will be in some way interesting. We shall see. But let's click the puzzle and see what's going on. I hope I've got the window the right size. It looks like I have. OK, one across. Staggered out of Belfast bar drunk around midnight with journalist. OK, well, I know some things about this clue, I believe. Um, I think it means staggered out. Flab flabbergasted, actually. It feels like it's right. Um, the only thing is midnight there. I was expecting to be N. Flabbergasted. Maybe mid... I don't quite understand it. Um, but... Let me explain my thought process. I saw the word drunk in the clue. That immediately sings anagram to me. So Belfast Bar. Again, I've done so many cryptic clues over the years and I have been solving these almost since I was a boy. So if, if what I'm about to do seems crazy to you, bear in mind it comes with decades of experience. Um, so Belfast Bar just looks like an odd collection of letters. So I suspect that those are anagram fodder, something that the constructor of the puzzle has used specifically for those letters rather than their meaning. Um, now Belfast Bar is 10 letters. I need 13 letters in all. So I need an abbreviation for midnight. Um, now, I'm, I'm still wondering what that is, but journalist, a short synonym for journalist in crosswords is often ed for the editor. Uh, and I can see that a word that might mean staggered here is flabbergasted. So I want to put that in. It feels like it's the right length. Um, uh, have I spelt it wrong? Evidently I have. Flabbergasted. OK, so how is this Belfast bar drunk? Belfast bar. I think well, there's clearly some sort of anagram of that. I've got the ed at the end. So it's the G for midnight. Why is G midnight? Is that the mid letter? of the word night. I don't know. I'm slightly surprised about that because midnight, you know, the middle of the word night is different from the word midnight. But anyway, that I think flabbergasted feels right without checking the anagram terribly carefully. Um, one down, pagan. Using axe without resistance initially slays more with it. More with it. more with it pagan using axe without resistance if you axe right if you axe somebody you fire them 
So if I take an R for resistance, R can be an abbreviation for resistance from Ohm's law, V equals IR, you may remember that from school. Um, I would get FIE. So can I think of Pagan? Pagan. Um, no, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I can't think of how that works. Um, against sudden speeding, up against sudden speeding up of a new children's game I, I just all i can think of is i spy um a oh, what's that against anti sudden speeding up of a new children's game oh, i'm sorry that should be completely easy with that Four one. I mean, that's appalling. I can't write that in. Singing with U.S. composers, hard work. Singing or singeing. Burn, Bernstein. No, um, don't know. Um, far away state. One toured by U.S. patriot. Rev oh, reverie. Okay, so Paul Revere. Uh, I'm sure we have many US followers. You will know your Paul Revere, a famous US patriot. Um, and if we put one in the middle of the word Revere, we get reverie and a faraway state is a daydream. You know, it's a, you're in a faraway state, you're in a reverie. So reverie feels right there. I'm going to use the V uh, for this starting letters. Now, believe it or not, C can be abbreviated to V. I can't remember why. Uh, I will I will show actually let me show you that now. I've got a dictionary here. We're not trying to do this quickly are we? So let's go to V. Let's type in V and see what V can mean. Now if we go down there so it's from the Latin vide. Is that vide? Or uh, I don't actually know. I never studied Latin at school which is a tremendous tremendous regret of mine. Um, because it would have helped me so much with crosswords over the years. But you can see it's the Latin word for C, and that's why V can be, uh, or C can mean V in crosswords. So I'm thinking that that's, that's this V here. Mischievous kids, imps, uh, uh, cut adolescence cloth. Right, so I think it means cloth. Um, vicarship or something. Mischievous kids. I can only think of imps, really. Tykes. And I need a short word for an adolescent that's not teen, because I can't start a word VT. Uh, adolescent. I don't know. Let's try and get five down. Complaint from Porter. Well, Porter is often ale, uh, maybe, intended to be picked up. A complaint is an ailment. OK, so this is a homophone. So, porter is a type of ale, A-L-E. If you, if you mean to do something, in the past you meant to do it, M-E-A-N-T. If you say ailment, you can see you could spell that as ailment like this, and it would mean a completely different thing. And it would mean it'd be a complaint. If you have an ailment, you need to go to the doctor sometimes. So that's going to be correct there. Let's try and get six down. Bank, I'm thinking tier, T-I-E-R on relations turning up. Oh, right, okay, it is tier. Um, and this is, uh, uh, it's a difficult clue. If you didn't have the T, you'd never solve this really. Well, you might solve it from bank, but um, how's this working? If something is on something, it's re it. You might see it on a memo, re, meaning the subject of the memo. What the memo is on is, is, the, is the following is the bit after the re so re is on relations believe it or not is it because it's a euphemism for sex if you do it you have sex so you have relations which is <laughs> so this is a um it's a perverse cryptic crossword uh, use of relations if we turn that all up because it's a down clue we get re it turned up which gives us tear which is the answer so now let's go back to this Velveteen, I'm thinking. That's certainly a type of cloth. I don't quite... Oh, teen for adolescence. Oh, right. Mischievous kids are elves. The elves are cut. So we just get elve. We add teen to that. 
for adolescent i wanted teen to be involved somewhere but i thought it was i thought we were going to be putting the mischievous kids cutting as in inside the adolescent in fact we were cutting as in shortening and we get velveteen which is a type of cloth so now we should be able to get seven down deep something it looks like pedals old mainly for no deed title deeds i was thinking but deed pedals old mainly forged okay so the de deed poles isn't it uh it's uh, because this is an anagram of the word pedals um and then most of the word old so without the d at the end that i think gives us the nine letters we're forging those we're anagramming them and i think that gives us deed poles as the answer which is a, certainly a type of le legal document let's try and get eight down one's oh so unloved a romeo in awful despair ultimately okay hmm. right i i think this means well it's the way because i'm what i'm trying to do is work out what the definition is here and normally a definition in a cryptic crossword clue is either at the start of the clue or the end of the clue or here the word ultimately screams wordplay to me because if i take the ultimate letter of a word i'm taking the last letter so i'm not thinking this means ultimately it may mean ultimately and i will be proved wrong but that's not what i'm thinking the, this the definition is here so i have to go to the other side of the clue and that's weird one could ones be the definition well, it could be, but I don't know any synonyms of ones, which are nine five. So I actually think it means ones o. Oh. And it's saying that so one of whatever this answer is. So o oh is an example of one of whatever the answer is. Now I don't know what the answer is yet, but that's how I'm reading the clue. So I'm thinking then so unloved a Romeo is a weird collection of letters. So I'm thinking that's an anagram. Or maybe actually we add in to that as well. One's oh so. Let me just think about this. Sorry, I just need to think about this for a moment. I need 14 letters. One's oh so. See, it looks like it's an anagram of unloved a Romeo. Oh no, I want to put the in in there as well, don't I? oh maybe it's so maybe it's so unloved a and then romeo could be r r is the international radio code word for romeo so that would give us 9 10 11 12 13 and then we need a 14th letter which is going to be an r which is the last letter of um, despair the ultimate letter of despair now if we read the clue the anagram is of so unloved a r in despair ultimately comes after so we can fairly confidently put the r at the end um one's o something order that's what i'm thinking something order have i got i've certainly got the letters for order so why would what else would it be then and if it was order that would be an o rated by female with assistance secured rated oh, i don't actually like i don't like order very much there let's try and get 12 across unscrupulous dealer of dope meeting two roman couples okay <laughs> unscrewed dealer of dope that reminds me of the tom lehrer song the old dope peddler um unscrupulous dealer of dope meeting two roman couples okay spiv is the answer two roman couples well um two couples would be four people and four the roman numeral for four is iv so an unscrupulous dealer is a spiv right so why is dope sp that is a good question actually i'm not so sure i know that i sp is sometimes starting prices so like dealer of dope 
starting prices and, and the race course. So it's sort of information. Maybe dope is being used in that sense. I, I think this is SPIV. I like the V as well, because didn't we have a V in the unloved? Yeah. So in... What is that word then? I don't know. Let's try 16 across. Hopefully we can in the end work our way down into work out what eight down is using sort of crossword technique. Uh, one winding up thread. So I'm thinking a treadle or something. Beginning with one winding up. And maybe it's somebody who teases. Threads beginning, that will be T with cylinder roller troller yeah a troller <laughs> anyone who has spent any time on the internet will know that they certainly wind you up um so troller so in yeah i should i should just be able to know this shouldn't i um universal universal i think is the first universal is certainly a word that fits there so is it universal order then i certainly have got an o left over and i've got uh, no i don't think i've got another oh no i haven't don't think i don't think i've got enough r's here for this to be universal order universal <laughs> what is it then i've not used a d um you see if you if, if i wasn't solving it uh on a on the computer screen you could obviously um write down the letters and do it that way but i'm trying to do it in my head which is probably silly um i think i've got i've got two o's left over haven't i i think i've got two o's i've got the ho the o in so and the o in unloved so I need to put two O's and a D in, universal donor. Ah, of course. You see, it's very clever, isn't it? It's it's such a misleading clue. You read the clue and it seems it's sort of referring to Shakespeare sometimes. And the answer is relating to a blood transfusion. Um, all right, 19 across. Plant, Nemesia. Such a fine one, ruined. That's another anagram, I think. Um, fuchsia, I'm thinking. Can I get fuchsia out of that? It looks like an anagram. Um, such is certainly anagrammed. A, F and 1, yes. So F is being uh, a fine. I think you might see it on pencils. Um, F can be abbreviated to fine. Uh, 1 can be abbreviated to, to I, as in the Roman numeral for the number 1. Anagram all that, ruin it, you get fuchsia, which is a plant. So that gives us a starting letter for 19 down. Hats passed round by artists. Hats. Um, hats, come on, it's the name of a hat. Passed round by artists. Um, hats. Oh, I, well, whatever hat, flat cap. No, but that's the wrong number of letters. It's got to be a plural. Okay, let's try this. Critical of hint, accompanying repair, touch and go. Critical. Some if something's critical, it's certainly touch and go. I quite like that as an answer. It fits the letters. So why is there? If you get a hint of something, you have a touch of something. Accompanying repair. If you repair, do you go? you probably do now if you well critical of a hint accompanying repair i'm going to go with that i'm not quite sure i understand it entirely let's see if this supports 25 across appreciate dig stylish invitation yes yeah, so dig in if you appreciate something you dig it if something stylish in fashion it's in and if you say dig in to a guest, you'd be saying eat up your dinner. So let's try 22 down. To perform, raise leg on the table. To perform is to do. Raise leg on the table. To perform. I'm not sure what that is. Sorry, I feel I should know what that is and I don't. Oh, this is this rated by female. Now, I quickly abandoned this before because I couldn't see how this worked at all assistance it could be hand if you lend someone assistance you give them a hand uh, rated 
race something handed rated by female I don't know I'm not sure what that is so that's a well we have made some progress on the right side haven't we a nine across would be a useful one men on bunk one turning round men men on well what does this mean one turning round would be a rotor yes it is rotor okay right so eventually i i thought about what the definition could be here men is such a horrible definition if that was the definition because goodness only knows what it could mean it could mean men as in soldiers so it could be the name of an army corps or a unit or something like that um and so anyway i i didn't I didn't like that as a definition so I, I gravitated towards the other side one turning round well a rotor turns round um, and if you put men men can be an army corps I just said that well ordinary ranks believe it or not is uh, has an abbreviation OR in cryptic crosswords it comes up all the time so you, these are talking about fighting men and if you put that on bunk we're not talking about bunkers in a bunk bed bunk is a word for uh, nonsense or rot so rot plus or gives us rotor which is certainly something that turns round. so oh no I, I, I wanted to take r out of fire didn't i so what is this then pagan using axe without resistance initially slays more with it more with it sounds like you're saner doesn't it um farm fire fire resistant pagan form I don't know it's, it's intriguing to think about well if we can get 11 across we might get one down brother in film industry visit by visited by a brother who supports the family breadwinner uh, no it's obviously not that a brother who supports the family visited by a brother um, brother in film industry what's the film industry it's sort of Hollywood, isn't it? Bollywood. Cinema. A brother who supports the family. I should know that. I don't. Well, let's try this one. Oh, this, this is this funny game that I don't know. Against sudden speeding up. Anti. And that means I need a word for sudden speeding up that's one letter. Of a new children's game. Is this some sort of Among Us? I'm thinking of what could be a children's game that's new. A new children's game against. Wow, I don't know. Singing with US composers. Hard work. What's hard work? Toil? Hop? Oh, barbershop. Yes, okay. Barbershop is a style of singing, isn't it? So we've got Barber, which is the name of the US composer, apostrophe S, so that's that S there, plus H for hard, you'd see that on pencils, op for word, shortened, a short for opus. Um, right, let's try 14. Oh, no, no, let's try this one. I've, is this something earned, isn't it? Who supports the, oh, earner wage earner who supports the family is the main earner the money earner brother in film industry visited by a brother I think, what, what what word in here visited by a brother makes me think i've got to put an abbreviation for a brother like a b r or something in the middle of this answer um who supports the family is there something the main earner brother in film industry see this could be some cultural reference I don't know visited by a brother 
I don't know, I'm sure it's something earner. But this is a problem now. This is getting difficult on this left side. Note manned satellite, oddly, used for launch again. Reissue is to launch something again. So why is this? Our re is a note, as in do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. You spell that re there, re. Um, manned satellite, oddly. What on earth is that? Oddly manned satellite oddly used what is going on there well it must be reissue <laughs> um, which is not really manned satellite the international space station is that ISS yes okay that's that's something I haven't seen before so re for note ISS for International Space Station oddly used is say take the odd letters of the word use that gives us UE put all that together we get launch again reissue so now 15 down serving minister lying well in incumbent um, serving if you're serving you're in power is what I'm thinking so I then need a word for a minister or to minister and the whole thing means so I was thinking incumbent but I don't know I don't think that's right quite I think it's in something let's try 17 across I need to get some answers in this bottom left threatens perhaps menaces but on that O's broken that idea with ECT or sending to shrink uh, threatens perhaps in pens with ECT or sending to shrink I don't know what that is threatens with ECT I don't well, I don't have a clue what I don't even know what that means after passing examination at college back for quiz back for quiz sounds like a Z which is a terrible a terrible thought could this be a Z an examination at college tripos um, after passing examination at college if you're at college you're up at university after passing examination at college back for sorry and i know this must be very annoying if you've seen the answer um but i haven't got a clue what that is so this is why this puzzle is hard this bottom left area and this well the whole of what's going on with this this word here um is proving troublesome indeed let's try this one revelation from you when probing english batsman and probing English batsman that's a more weird construction as well what's a batsman an opener eye opener ah yes good okay well, that's going to be right so it's a slight cricket reference a revelation is an eye opener you is ye you might see ye old tavern or something it's an old word for the word you so ye is probing e for English that's this e here and a batsman or a type of batsman is an opener so put all that together and we get a load of useless looking letters with the exception possibly of this p stone opal ring seeing north of china yeah so ring is o because it looks like a ring north of china it's not referring to the country of china china is an old word for your for a pal a pal a friend um you might have seen heard my old china how are you doing me old china that would be something i wouldn't say but could have said a long time ago uh, craftsman after camping equipment cornering small boy scout oh goodness me um, craftsman joiner <laughs> after camping equipment cornering small boy uh, it could be s and lad i think this is going to be a word for scout which could be scout as a verb or it could be scout as a noun 
let's try 18 down, I don't think I've looked at that. Water flowing from pipe down bottom of drain, stopping soon. Water flowing from pipe, ah, pipe, Shannon, good grief, that's not easy. Okay, this water flowing is the definition, which might make you think about the water that flows from your tap, but it's in fact referring to the river Shannon, which is a quite different thing altogether. Um, so the Shannon, if you say pipe down someone, you might sh them, S-H. Bottom of drain is the letter N, the bottom letter of the word drain, and that's stopping, it's plugging a word that means soon. And if something happens anon, it happens soon. So we put N in the middle of anon after sh, and we get Shannon, and that's the answer. So that's a good solve, or a better solve at least. Um, so what's this then? Scout. Um, I don't know, venture, I don't know. If, oh, if that, oh, a scout could be a talent, talent spotter, yes. I was thinking of a scout as in, you know, somebody who uh, performs reconnaissance, but talent spotter would be a scout, wouldn't it? So why is this talent spotter? A potter is a craftsman, somebody who does pottery. Ca after camping equipment, tent, cornering small boy al al is a small name you know al would be shortened as a boy's name from alfred or albert um so craftsman after camping equipment cornering small boy uh which i think so what where is this i think i'm wondering as where this s is coming from i suppose camping equipment might be tents plural I, t I might take tents when I go camping, although it's a bit strange. Um, so what does that mean? We've now got an R and an S at the end of 19 down, which is our hats one. Hats passed round by artists. Um, hats. Oh dear, this is bad, isn't it? Because if I can't get this one, Oh, look, I've got t G blank T here to perform raised leg on the table. Raised leg to perform raised leg on the table. <laughs> what is this talking about? To perform raised. So if you perform Form something. I want to gig. Oh, is Jig? Is this Jigo? That would be very odd. If you perform, you do a gig, don't you? So I'm wondering if it's two gig all raised and then leg on the table. Well, Jigo, I think, is a type of dance. Leg on the table. I don't know if in a Jigo you, you do anything weird. Um, oh, that would that would put pay to my D for handed in this one. Rated by female with assistance secured. Rated. I can only think of the word sandbagged at the moment, which doesn't mean rated, I don't think. By female. with and assistance see oh. rated by I think it means rated so that what's that going to be rated if you rate something I think you can berate them as well so it could be a word for, that means sort of dress down. Obviously, it's got, this G is, if that G is wrong, it's going to be very bad. And this, what's this word for assistance? Aid, I'm thinking here. Or give me a, oh, fedoras, of course. Ah, that's helpful as a thought. So there's certainly types of hats. So why is this right? Artists, Royal Ac Academicians, I can never say that word, RAs would be artists, 
So past fed, if you past, I think round is going to be O because it's a round letter. It's some past. Why is fed past? Is that an old word as in repast, I wonder? Past. To pass, is that to feed? To have a... I think it must be fedoras, mustn't it? So if that was right, that would mean we've got something like aid in the middle of this, rated by female, made bagged or something, with assistance secured, rated. By female. I don't know, maybe this is, maybe that's wrong. Maybe it's with and a word for assistance support. So handbagged. Oh, that would be rated by female. If you are handbagging, is sort of. So why is this? With secured is bad. Bagged, sorry. If you bag something, you secure it. So with that wand bagged, is that really a thing? Oh, this might be why people have got this puzzle wrong. This letter is very interesting. No, actually I'm wrong. I'm not. It's not that interesting, isn't it? It must be with assistance. Yeah, no, it's not. It's not. It is handbagged. With assistance, if you lend someone assistance, you give them a hand. We've said that. If you secure it, secure something, you bag it. So put hand and bag together. Rated by a female is saying berated by a female, hand bagged. Um, and we'll check at the end whether rate can mean berate, but I think it can. So we have done the right side of the grid now, somehow. 17 across, we've got to do, th this is threatens again something dooms I want to put uh, what's this word serving minister lying I want this to be incumbent lying I mean is a serving minister is incumbent maybe it's a double definition I think I, for some reason I think incumbent means lying if it was incumbent, what would that give us? It would give us an M here. So this would be M after passing examination at college back for quiz. I don't know what this means. After passing examination at college. What does that mean? Your postdoctorate or something. Um, or maybe this could be proved to be a C. So how is that going to work? Threatens. Yeah. Threatens, perhaps, with ECT or sending to shrink. Threatens, perhaps, with ECT. What is that even saying? We're threatening to do electrotherapy on somebody or sending to shrink or sending to shrink hectares okay it's a hidden right okay that's that's a strange and I, I don't love this okay so heck if you hector someone you threaten them uh, perhaps, yeah, I think that perhaps is probably justified there. But if you then take the string of letters made up of with ECT or sending, you can see hidden inside them, spelt out H-E-C-T-O-R-S, the word hectares, the answer. So I think what it's saying is... I mean, it's weird. I mean, shrink, maybe it could mean contains in some way. But I, I, I mean, to me, it means shortened. And I don't think it's fair to say that string of letters shortened is the word hectares. No, that string of letters contains the word hectares. 
but that would only work if shrink can mean contain in some context. So I don't really understand that. So I'm, I'm still liking incumbent for this as a double definition. So what is this expression then at one down pagan? Pagan. Using axe without resistance, without resistance is freely, isn't it? Initially slays more with it. Firm. If you're more with it, are you firm? A pagan. <sighs> pagan using axe. I don't see the thing I've got the problem I've got here is that is, the clue is cleverly worded so I don't know whether the definition here is pagan or more with it that's what I think the two choices are more with it you're sort of a pagan is a fire starter yeah we've got these few entries here this children's game against could be v if, if you do have a match it's a versus b so v maybe sudden speeding sudden speeding would be a revving of the engine speeding up against sudden speeding up so what else could sudden speeding be And what is this, this wage earner one? Um, oh, something worshipper would, no, wouldn't fit, would it? Oh, it would fit, worshipper would fit, 11. Right, let's put that in and that might allow us to. So what's this then? Fire worshipper? Without, without could be WO. That's an abbreviation for without. Resistance R initially slays. Oh gosh, it is worshipper. Okay, so it's, it is a pagan. Yeah, so it's fire worshipper. Good grief. Right, so the way we get this is axe. My first thought for the word axe was to fire. As you fire someone, you axe them. Without, W-O. R for resistance. S for the initial letter of the word slays. If you're more with it, you're hipper. You're more hip than the next person, the next cat. So this is going to be wage earner. I have no anti-G. Okay, so this is this is some expression for anti-gravity, isn't it? Against sudden speeding up is going to be anti-G. A new A N. A children's game is tick. Ah, so at least we're we're getting there. So wage earner how does this work it's definitely right wage sorry brother in film industry warner the warner brothers of course okay visited by a and brother brother is being as used as a euphemism if you go oh brother you're 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 swearing it's a very light form of swear, swearing as is as would be saying g as in g whiz so it's that's lovely that's very clever so it's wage earners the answer that completely misled me and all we've got here is pump i'm thinking for quiz if you pump somebody for information you quiz them so after passing examination at college back it must be pump okay but but why after passing examination at college back p post matric yes ah good grief that's that's absolutely vicious this is pm for post matriculation i think which is uh, an abbreviation for after you've matriculated from university so after you've passed your examination um then up is up for at college i said that before if you're up at university you're at college and you reverse that so you reverse pm up to get pump which means quiz and that i think is the answer to this puzzle so let us submit it and see it's gonna be so disappointing if i made a mistake no i haven't made a mistake so that's a good solve it's, it's not an easy puzzle that i hope you could appreciate uh, there was a reasonable amount of tricky stuff i mean obviously 
if you think of anti-G quickly, you might cotton on to wage earner a bit faster. And this W is massive in fire worshipper. Um, but let's let's just go through in the dictionary some of the things that might might be a little bit more controversial. Can I shrink my dictionary? Oh no, it won't let me. Okay, but okay, I can type in. I can type in the words in the top left and then the definitions will appear in the window. So let's have a look at what we might want to check. Uh, let's have a look at um, just looking to see what the things were. Oh, why was SP dope? Let's have a look at that starting price I was aware of. Without issue, Cineprol, that doesn't mean dope, does it? SP special species and spelling so it must be a reference i think to starting price so maybe the dope on a race course is the starting price of a horse let's have a look um gosh it, it, a drug there's a race horse reference but i don't think it's in the context fraudulent information unless it's unless starting price is used as a euphemism for the information about a subject generally yeah no odds on a horse when a race beginning it's not really information generally i don't quite get that there are a few things here that i thought were quite close to the bone um one winding up troller no we have, oh shrink i wanted to look at the the way that that was meant to be construed so shrink means to contract to shrivel to wither to dwindle to shrink wrap oh goodness me so I th maybe that's what it's saying if you shrink r then wrapped within the whole context of with ect or sending you could find wrap you know they were wrapping the answer it's tricky that very tricky pm is that post matriculation that's, that's not an abbreviation i've ever seen i don't think no not yet still not actually oh it's not okay maybe this is a maybe this is somehow just maybe it's not then that's surprised me actually can we find post matriculation as a maybe it's maybe it's in a newer form of the chambers or maybe it's maybe it's just i don't i don't can't explain why why that would work then that clue if if post matriculation is not what pm is supposed to be getting at um okay let's try and decide whether we agree with any of the others anti g i presume anti g is an expression i think i have seen that before now anti g resistant to the effects of high acceleration especially of an astronaut's equipment um okay let's carry on complaints that was fine wasn't it relations as a euphemism for sex i think that will be supported let's have a look relations if i could spell it let's try and find it relation where is it going to be relation here in the plural sexual intercourse so that's what's going on there um oh to repair is in to go to repair to make good to go there we go to repair to go so that is fine absolutely fine for the this one accompanying require repair so touch and go was how that was working let's check incumbent as a definition is it a double definition um so as a noun yes the person who holds office and then as an adjective lying down lying along so it was a double definition clever clue water flowing shannon i like that clue that was tricky hats oh yes then passed for fed that was one that i didn't really understand so it's to pass to feed golly we're, we're going to be a while reading all these definitions here well let's assume one of them is justifying the word fed uh let's try try feed for pass maybe um
can't see it, but I'm sure I'm sure it's going to have been checked. Um, anything else? Oh, the Shigo one. Yeah, that's that's definitely one I didn't understand. Oh, I was completely wrong. I thought it was a dance. It's a leg of mutton. Oh, so a leg on the table is saying it's something you might serve for dinner. So I've just totally got. Maybe I'm confusing. Uh, maybe that, I'm sure there's a word. It's something like that. Gig is a dance. What am I thinking of then? Gavotte? Is that what I'm confusing? Let's have a quick look. See if we can justify my ignorance in any way at all. What's that mean? A drop of liquid. No, that doesn't support my ignorance, does it? A grisette. No. Okay, so it's just complete gavotte. I think I must have been confusing i've misled i've misled everybody everyone's been watching this thinking she go of lamb why is this a dance well you'd be quite right and i'm just a fool um however i am a fool who did manage to solve this reasonably tricky crossword i hope it was interesting to watch me stagger my way through it it was certainly not easy and a number of points today that i thought were tricky tricky would be a, a euphemistic word for it but i did enjoy it and i hope you enjoyed the journey with me let me know in the comments if you want to see more crosswords i do enjoy the comments especially when they're kind and we'll be back later with another edition of cracking the cryptic